photo ID to access the Ninja Lounge on Deck 5. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof. Right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. for the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath! Episode 3, Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody will die pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs>
Press circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known! You're no match for the likes of me! <laughs> That's rich! I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class. Uh, I always hated biology. That's right. You were that freak with the headgear. Remember how he used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old. I was always big for my age. You were 26. Say, how about a wedgie for old times' sake? Quiet! I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Episode 4, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But Janice, I... I'm Engelbert! Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Wooden pug, Captain Flabby! Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt! 
You have plumped up like a giant green bratwurst. <laughs> it is time for the fitness course. Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis. The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark. <laughs> things work again. Oh, I remember. Just press up or down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tell me, you changed your hair. Sorry, what's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But... Uh, Seems the script is missing a few pages. <clears throat> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as, uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see, up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Metropolis! That's where Nefarious is gonna strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. A new suit of armor is available at the Gadgetron Armor Vendor. Man, I need to drop a few pounds so I can squeeze into that new agent.